Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming to yoga today. I'm Joanne, and uh, it's great to be with you all. So thanks for coming. And uh, let's get started in easy pose. So we're going to sit up nice and tall. And if you need to sit up on a blanket or a prop so that you can find length in the spine, then please do that. Um, and it's nice to lift the flesh away from your sitting bones. You can ground your hips. And then a nice, easy posture, nice cross-legged, easy position. So finding length through the spine and soften the shoulders away from your ears. And imagine there's a string that's lifting the crown of the head up to the ceiling as the shoulders soften down the back. So you can rest your hands on the thighs, palms down or up, whatever you like. And we're just going to take a couple minutes at the beginning of the practice to ground and center ourselves. So I want you to sort of think about dropping into the body. See if you can drop out of the thinking mind. As I'm listening, I heard something in the house that so was like, what was that noise? Um, I think it's my refrigerator. Okay, sorry. So sitting up tall and again, dropping in to the body. Close your eyes. And maybe part your lips so the jaw is nice and soft. And just check in with yourself, noticing if there's any areas of tension or tightness in the body. Notice if the mind is busy or still. Just checking in. And I always like to invite you to set an intention or dedication, if you'd like, for your practice, just repeating it to yourself three times. Let me change the view on this real quick. Forgot to do that. Okay, okay. All right. So trying to engage in, with the three part breath if you haven't already. So when we breathe in, we breathe into the belly, separate the ribs and all, bring the breath all the way up to the lungs, the tops of your lungs into the chest. So the breath moves like a wave as you inhale and as you exhale, you just soften and let go, reversing that wave. At the bottom of the exhale, you want to squeeze the navel to really get all the stale air out of the lungs, so squeeze the navel toward the spine. So the inhale automatically reinflates your belly. Take a couple more breaths here. With every inhale, I want you to feel a sense of expansion and space in your body. And with each exhale, just a softening and a letting go, keeping that sense of expansion and openness in the body as you exhale, you just soften around the space. So let's inhale and create some space and length. And then as you exhale this time, we're just going to bow the chin to the chest. Let the head be heavy, feeling us through the back of the neck. Make sure the shoulders are still open and back. Just allowing gravity to stretch the back of your neck. And then gently we're going to rock one ear over the shoulder, open up, 
So see if you can make the motion nice and fluid with your breath. Exhale as you bow the chin. Inhale as you open to the other side. And again, side to side, exhale forward. Inhale, open. Exhale forward. Inhale to the other side. Exhale forward. We're going to inhale to the first side again. We're going to open up the chest. We're going to pause here. Make sure your posture is tall, your shoulders are down. Ears aligned over the shoulder, hopefully. Again, if anything is painful or sharp, then don't do it. And then you're going to take the opposite arm from your ear that's flexed to the side and walk it out. So lengthen your arm as far as you can away from you without really without moving away from the floor, pardon me. So fingers touch down and you're creating a little resistance here. So you're feeling that all the way down the neck into the arm to the fingers. Good. And then from this position, we're gonna rotate with the nose. So we're gonna inhale as you turn the nose toward the sky and then exhale as you turn the nose over your bottom shoulder. So you're gonna inhale as you come up and open and exhale as you go down. So you might be going at a different pace and that's totally fine. So again, listen to your body. And then you can also play with the angle so you can feel the release where you need it the most. So I encourage you to do that. Exhale down, let's take another breath here. Inhale up. And exhale down. Bring the head back toward the screen. And then just drop the chin to the chest as you bring that arm in. We'll rock the other ear over the other shoulder. And again, make sure your shoulders are relaxed, chest is broad and open. And then walk your opposite hand out to the side. Keep the fingers down, activate all the way through the arm. Connecting to your breath, and then we'll begin to rotate the head. Inhale as you gaze up. And exhale as you look down over the shoulder. Keep everything nice and soft. Keep the breath moving nice and deep. Inhale up. Again, play with the angle to find the sweet spot for you. Another breath up. And down. Good, one more breath, inhale up. And exhale down. Good, go ahead and drop the head forward, bring the hand in and take the head upright and just drop the shoulders and see how that feels. Hopefully the neck feels a little longer. Good, and then relax the hands by the side. We're gonna shrug the shoulders, so we're gonna squeeze them up, big circles up by the ears and down the back. So think of this as a little massage. You want to feel a little resistance, a little tension as you're moving the shoulders and the joint. Take another breath in and out. Good, settle the shoulders down. And we're going to inhale, create a little resistance. So spread the fingers out wide as you inhale, reach the arms out as far as you can. Reach up as you inhale. Touch the hands at the top if you can. Exhale as if you're moving through water. So again, a little resistance. Exhale down, keeping the shoulders relaxed here. So we don't want to create any tension in the shoulders. So shoulders are down. Inhale, sweep up. And exhale down. Inhale, reach up. This time we're going to connect the palms. Connect, interlace the fingers, connect the palms, and then turn the hands up. Keep the shoulders grounded. You're gonna pull the pinky side back a little bit so you feel that in the chest, but you don't wanna over arch in the back. So keep the spine tall. So you don't wanna do this, but you wanna be here. So shoulders are soft, spine is still long. Pull the pinkies back, just so you feel that in the armpit and the chest. Neck is long. Breathe in out lift up maybe a little higher press the index side up pinkies back 
Soft shoulders, and then break the hands free, pull apart and lower down. Shoulder shrug here, squeeze up, big circle and down. Good, and then we're gonna do one more thing seated. So inhale, sweep one arm up. Keep again the shoulder soft. We're gonna walk all the way over with the opposite hand. Soften both elbows. So you wanna keep the torso open, the chest open first. So we're stretching through the side. And then I want you to feel like you're pulling this rib cage to that side of the room and that you're still lifted on this side. So we don't wanna collapse completely. Keep lift and length, keep the chest open, breathe in. Using the breath to stretch the ribs and then here we're gonna breathe in. As you exhale, you're gonna turn the torso toward the floor and then lead with your elbow. So you wanna feel that down the whole side of the body as you sweep across the front. And then we're gonna inhale as we come up on the other side. So same position, other side, nice and open in the chest and the torso, soft elbows. Grounding in both hips, pull the ribs to the other side, breathe. Take a deep breath in. And then as we exhale again, we'll turn the torso, lead with the elbow, feel that down the whole side, sweep across, nice and fluid with your movement. Inhale, reach up. And then we're gonna coordinate that with the breath. So we'll flow a little bit. So let's exhale as you fold forward and then inhale as you reach up. So a breath cycle as you move to one side, exhale forward, reach across, sweep, inhale up. Good, exhale forward, inhale up. Exhale forward and inhale up. Good, from here, we're gonna lead with the side of the body. Inhale, stretch up tall, lower the arm by the side. One more shoulder strike here, squeeze up and back. Great, and then we're gonna come into tabletop onto all fours. So you wanna brighten your hands so that your fingers are spread as wide apart as you can get them and that they're under your shoulder. And then if you have any wrist issues, you're welcome to take fists here as well. So the index, the middle, the middle finger points forward. We wanna rotate the inside of the elbow toward the front part of the mat. So rotate the muscle around the bone just to play with that. <clears throat> and then inside of the elbow will shine forward. Your knees should be under your hips. And then we want to make sure we're not locking the joint of the arm. So soften the arm just a tiny bit, micro bend the joint, activate the feet into the mat and engage your core. So you're not just sagging in the belly, lift the navel toward the spine. The neck is long looking down in front of you. So the core is activated. And then we'll do some cat cow stretches. So as we inhale, we'll drop the belly and send the tail and the crown to opposite corners of the room. So think about length rather than lift. So think length, exhale round, drop the tailbone on the head and press the shoulder blades up and apart. Inhale as you open and exhale as you round. Got a few more cat cows using your breath as your guide. Inhale and exhale. Another thing to think about as you inhale is bringing the chest through the shoulders so we're finding space and length in the spine. Take one more round, inhale and exhale. We'll come back to tabletop position. Check your alignment. Anytime you need to shake out the wrists, you can. Feel free to take a break. And then press them out away from you. Neck is long. We're gonna thread the needle next. So this can be done with motion or you can stay static if you wanna stay a little more still. So listen to your body, whatever is best for you today. We're gonna inhale as we sweep one arm up, open the chest to the sky. And then as you exhale, you're gonna thread the hand all the way between the hand and the knee on the ground and come all the way down to the cheek, so release all the way down. 
So if you want to move, we'll inhale, sweep up, up. And if you want to stay static, you can exhale down. We're releasing the shoulder here. So you can bring the opposite arm behind you or up, whatever you like, or you can move. Inhale, reach. If you're moving, hopefully each time you're finding a little more space as you move up and down. Good, one more time on this side. And exhale. Nice, come back to tabletop, set yourself up. And we'll take the other side, inhale, reach. And exhale, release. Make sure you're coming all the way down so you get that release at the bottom. Big full breaths. Good. One more time if you're moving. And we'll come back to tabletop. <clears throat> so check your alignment, soften your elbow joints. And then we're going to take our knees behind our hip points just about an inch. And then actually let's keep the knees under the hip points to start. We're going to do one more thing on all fours. So we're going to untuck the right toes and press through the calf. So you want to push back to stretch through the calf and then rotate forward, bring the shoulders above the wrist. You can stimulate your toe tips here. Um, this is great if you have allergies to stimulate those points on the toe tips. Exhale, push into the calf. Inhale, come forward, keep the neck and the spine together. Exhale one more time and inhale forward. Keep the shoulders above the wrists. And then from here, we're going to lift the right leg up. So keep the heel foot flexed so the toes are pointing down. Engage your core, press the mat away from you. And then we're going to bend the knee, draw the heel toward the glute. So you don't want to dump the back, keep the hips even, engage your core, heel the glute, press the mat away from you, and then squeeze, inhale, squeeze the knee in, round the upper back, exhale, send the leg out, and stretch it long, flex to the foot. Keep the core engaged, bend the knee, heel the glute, getting our hamstrings a little warmed up, inhale, squeeze in, and exhale, stretch out. Keep those hips even. Good, one more time. Bend the knee, heel the glute, squeeze in, round the upper back, and take it long. Good, and then drop that knee. Shake your wrist out if you need. <clears throat> and we'll switch sides. So left toes tuck under, and then again, we'll push back. Keep the neck long. I always have to remind myself because I always drop my head. Keep the neck long. Inhale forward. Stimulate your toes. And exhale. Press as you stretch through the calf. Inhale. Slide up a little bit. Stimulate your toes. And exhale. Good. One more time. And back. Stretch through that calf. Make sure your hands Align under your shoulders, stack yourself, and then lift the left leg, toes down. Again, keep the leg from rotating the toes out. Keep the toes pointing down, the foot's flexed, like you're standing on a wall behind you. Abs are engaged here. Bend the knee, heel the glute. Inhale, squeeze as you round the upper back. Squeeze in. Inhale, send the leg out, long. Lengthen, engage your core, bend the knee. Squeeze in. Exhale, send the leg long. Keep the core nice and tight, nice and active. Bend the knee, squeeze in, round the back. Good, send the leg out nice and long. And we'll drop the knee. 
Good, let's push back for a moment into child's pose so we can give our wrists a little rest. So come onto your elbows and then just lift the hands and make some circles with your wrists. Go in both directions, shake them out. Inhale, come back to tabletop when you're ready. Bring the hands under the shoulders and now we're gonna take the knees behind our hips. Just a touch, tuck your toes under, and then we're gonna peel our hips up for downward dog. So no need to straighten the legs right away. Take your time, pedal your dog out. So walk, bend one knee and then the other. Just starting to get in the hamstrings a little more. You wanna keep the tailbone rising. Chest relaxing between the arms, palms fully engaged, including the fingers. So you don't jump into the wrists here. And then we'll slowly walk ourselves up. So take a nice slow stroll to the front of your mat. Measure about two fists between your feet and bend your knees as much as you need so your fingers can be next to your feet on the floor. And then draw the forehead to the shin. So your knees might be very bent and that's fine. So listen to your body, fold here. Maybe shake the head a little yes and no. Deep breath in and exhale, let's sigh it out through the mouth. Just let go of tension, take one more breath like that. Good, and then release the arms in front of you. Let them dangle, let your head be heavy. I want your whole upper body to be passive. As you find all four corners of both feet, ground your feet, tilt your tailbone and slowly roll up so your upper body is not doing anything except unfurling one vertebra at a time. Chin tucks, head's heavy. Good, and then when you get to the top, let's shrug the shoulders up by the ears and down the back as you open the chest. Coming into your mountain pose, fan the hands forward. And then feel the weight is nice and even on all four corners of the feet. Your shoulders are above your hips, which are above your heels. The crown of the head is tall. You're active in your belly. And then nice soft knees, nice micro bend to the knee joint. Let's inhale as we reach the arms back behind us to open the chest. Inhale, sweep up. And then as we exhale, we're gonna swan dive. So hinge at your hip and fold over the legs. Keep the spine as long as you can, fold. Inhale, come up halfway lift, lengthen your spine halfway to the floor. And exhale, bow. We're gonna roll up, inhale slowly. Dangle the arms and the head. Shrug your shoulders at the top, open the chest. Good, again, inhale, reach up. Big breath in. And exhale, fold. Inhale, takes you up halfway. Exhale, bow. Good, roll it up. Inhale, nice and slow. One word at a time, open the chest. Good, last time, inhale, reach up. Big breath in, exhale, swan dive. Inhale, halfway, open the chest. And exhale, fold. Good, we're, we're gonna um, roll it up one more time. <laughs> roll it up, open the chest. Good, coming back to mountain pose. Now we're gonna take it into a more full salute. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive. Halfway lift on the inhale, floating up. Finding length, exhale, bow. Good, take a giant, now plant your hands. We're gonna take a giant sit back with the right leg. So we're coming to a lunge, a runner's lunge here. And then we're gonna drop the back knee. If you need to double up your mat, you can for a little cushion for the knee. And then you wanna make sure that the front knee is directly above the heel. So from here, make sure this is, aligned. If you need a little less stretch back here, you can move the knee up or you can take it back. So 
adjust where you need to be, but make sure this stays nice and right angle there. So we're gonna actually scissor our legs toward the midline. So feel a scissor action toward the midline and then sweep the arms up. So we wanna keep lifting up out of the back. So that's why we scissor the legs so we can find that lift through the midline so that we're not dumping into the back. And then maybe the chest lifts, but we're lifting up out of the back. Breathe, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, take your hands to your chest in prayer position. From here, breathe in as you grow tall, keeping the legs active. And then you're gonna turn toward the front knee. So you're gonna twist on the spine. So turn toward the front leg and then maybe open the arms out wide. Like you're holding up a wall. Notice my shoulders are still above my hips and I'm tall. I'm not leaning here. So an option here, if you want a little more challenge is to keep the hands in the chest and then hook the elbow outside of the knee for a little deeper twist. So that's optional. And then we're gonna inhale, come forward again, lift the arms up. Exhale, float the hands down to frame your front foot. Then we're gonna walk the hands back, pull the hips back as you draw the toes toward the face here in half monkey. So this foot is nice and flexed. My hips, especially my left hip is pulling back as I lengthen over my hamstring. Breathe here. The leg does not have to be straight. You can also use blocks here if you want or props if this is difficult. Good, slowly come forward as you exhale, plant the foot. Tuck your back toes as you lift the back knee. We're gonna take both hips up, pull the left foot back to meet the right in downward dog. Good, maybe pedal the feet if you need. From your downward dog, we're gonna inhale as we float into a plank position. So bring the shoulders above the wrists, keep energy spiking through your heels. So my shoulders and my hips are in the same plane here. And then I'm gonna drop my knees right where they are. I'm gonna plant my chest between my hands in awkward S pose. I'm gonna keep my elbows close, bend the elbows. Engage the core as you lower. Plant the chest. So notice my hips are still lifted. And then we'll let the legs slide out behind us. Put the tops of the feet on the floor and inhale for a low cobra. So you want the gaze out in front of you. So the neck is long, the feet are glued to the floor. Elbows close. Breathe into your belly. Good, exhale, lower the chest. And then tuck your toes and send your hips back up to downward dog. You can always come through tabletop if you need an easier transition. And then we're gonna bend the knees and you can either walk, step, or hop all the way up back to the front of the mat. Back to forward bend. Roll yourself up. Shrug your shoulders at the top, open the chest. Back to your mountain pose. Nice inhale, reach back, sweep up. We'll do the other side. Exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway lift. <laughs> and exhale, fold. Good, this time giant step back with the left leg. Dropping the back knee and uncurl the toes. Again, if you need a cushion or double up your mat, you can make sure this is a nice right angle. Before you come up, find that scissor action with the legs. So you're engaging the inner thighs toward the midline and then you're rising up. Arms maybe by the ears, lifting up nice and tall. Don't dump and sink into the back, so lift up. Deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly take your hands to your heart and prayer pose. Turn toward the front knee, twisting, 
And then again, option, so you can open the arms wide or if you wanna keep the hands together, bind outside of the knee and then press the hands toward the center for a little deeper twist, you can. Find your breath here and your twist the next day's long. Nice and easy, good. Slowly release back to center. Inhale, the arms rise. Float the hands down to frame your foot. And we'll walk it back. Pull the toes toward the face. Walk your hands back. Pull this um, sitting bone toward the back of the mat. Again, you can use blocks here if you've got them handy, if you need. Create some space in the chest here. So try not to collapse here, but lengthen. And then this leg can be a little bent if you're real tight, that's fine. Just work it, slowly opening the leg, drawing that hip back. Find a breath. So we wanna soften into the stretch with our breath. We'll slowly walk forward, plant the hands. Tuck your back toes as you lift the knee. Take both hips high, stepping back to downward dog. Good, from downward dog, we'll float into plank position. Shoulders above wrists, engage your core. Neck is long, gaze in front of you. Exhale, your knees, chest and chin slowly down. Inhale, as you drop the legs, tops of the feet down. Low cobra. We're gonna slide from here, slide the elbows under your shoulders for sphinx pose, so keep the arms wide. Elbows are under the shoulders, feet are still glued down. And then you're gonna drag the mat towards you as you lift up out of your shoulders. Keep the neck long. Feel this nice stretch in the belly and the back. If this hurts, don't do it. Lower yourself down a little more or tilt your tailbone toward your heels if you've got any pinching in the back at all. Take another breath here. We'll slide the hands back next to your chest. And then we're gonna push back from here into a child's pose. Sit over the heels. Take a deep breath. Inhale, come into tabletop. Tuck your toes, take it up to downward dog. And then we'll slowly come back to the front of the mat. Standing forward, fold. Fold here. We'll roll up nice and slow. Unfurl. Shrug your shoulders, open the chest. Take a breath here. Good, from here, let's take a giant step back with the right leg. So check heel to arch alignment. So you wanna intersect the back arch with the front heel or you can do heel to heel. Either way, whatever's more comfortable for you. So make sure the hips face the long edge of the mat. And then your comfortable stance. So you don't wanna to be too wide that you feel like you're collapsing. A nice measurement is to take the wrists and the ankles sort of in the same alignment. So your wrists are above your ankles approximately. So now we're still long in the spine, soft shoulders. We're gonna to gaze to our front hand, our left hand, and then we're just gonna bend the left knee. So you wanna make sure that knee is opening, don't let it collapse. And if you wanna take a deeper stance, you can take, if you wanna go deeper, you can take your legs out wide again. Make sure that the knee stays above the heel. You don't want it moving past the heel. And then you should be able to see the big toe in your peripheral vision. Soft shoulders, nice firm feet, nice tall spine, beautiful. So we're gonna gaze to that front hand. Nice deep breath in and out. Feel the outer edge of your back foot is pressing into the floor. Let's take a peaceful warrior. So we're gonna turn the front palm up. And now we're gonna inhale as we lean forward just a little bit. 
reach, 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 and then exhale as you float back. Again, lifting up out of the back. So don't collapse on the back, lift. Stretching the front ribs here. The back hand is just resting on the leg. It's just a guide, so you're not leaning on it. So we're still lifting, soft elbows, look up maybe. Deep breath into the ribs. Take another breath here. Don't lose the, the thigh though. Keep that thigh working, the front thigh. A lot of times people will do this to come out of it, but keep it working. One more breath. Exhale, slowly take your hands back down to warrior two. Soften the shoulders. Breathe in. Exhale, lower the arms and straighten that leg. Whew. Okay, turn that foot in and then we'll turn the other foot out. So again, check, check your alignment. Hips will face the long edge of the mat. And then adding the arms, soft shoulders, pull through the fingertips. Okay, we're gonna gaze to the other hand now and we'll bend that front leg. So switching sides. And again, feel free to adjust, make sure that knee is opening out so you can see your big toe, nice and tall. Deep breath. Outer edge of that back foot is nice and strong. Good, let's turn that front palm up, face it up. And then we're gonna inhale as we reach, reach, reach. Exhale, float back, keep that front leg bent. As you float back, lift up, lift out of the back. Don't collapse into the back. Keep that leg working, keep lifting. Soft elbow, deep breath. Slowly inhale back to your warrior two. Pause here for a breath, nice long arms. Open knee, lower the arms and we'll straighten that leg. Turn that foot in. So now we're in a nice wide stance here. We're gonna have both feet facing forward toward the long edge of the mat, parallel. You can even be slightly pigeon toed if you want. We're going to take the hands to the back. So the thumbs come around the waist and your hands are supporting your sacrum and the low back here. So you've got a little support. Also a reminder so you don't arch the back. <clears throat> so we'll start tall. We'll pull the elbows back behind us to open the chest. And then we're going to, as we breathe in, keep your feet nice and firm. As we breathe in, we're going to lift the sternum to the sky as we look up. Gently. As we exhale, we're gonna hinge at the hip. So keep the spine long here. Now rounding the back. And then if you wanna use blocks, if they're handy, take your blocks down in front of you. And then maybe release one hand at a time to the floor. So if this is difficult, if you feel really rounded, you take your feet out a little bit wider and that'll get you closer to the floor. Yeah. Nice. And then, <clears throat> so if you feel like this is a challenge, you can always use blocks here, but we wanna find that length in the spine. Good. And then from here, let's take a twist. So we're gonna take the right hand in front of our face on the floor. And then we're gonna inhale as we pull the left arm up. So twisting on the spine. So the spine's nice and long, open the chest, breathe in. Take a breath in. As you exhale, plant the left hand where the right is and then pull the right arm up. Open the chest, nice and long in the spine. Nice open chest. Good, exhale, lower that right arm down. Take your hands back under your shoulders. We're gonna aim the toes now to the corners of the mat. So open the feet out a little bit. And then we're gonna walk both hands toward one side. And as you do that, bend that same knee. 
and then we're going to stretch the opposite inner thigh. So be mindful of your knees. If anything hurts, again, don't do it. So both feet are flat here. So I'm stretching through my inner thigh. My hands are in front. And then I'm going to walk my hands through center. So we're going to kind of crab walk to the other side as we bend the other leg and straighten the opposite leg. Again, both feet stay flat. And then we'll find a little flow with that. So use your breath to guide you. Inhale and exhale. I love this crab walk. Inhale and exhale. Good, let's go again one more time to each side. Should feel good. Again, any knee pain, then don't do it. Or see if you can find a place where it doesn't hurt your knees. Let's come back to center. Again, and then we're gonna pull the feet in, square the feet up a little bit, lengthen the spine. Come on to fingertips, maybe your blocks. And then you're gonna take one hand at a time. So nice firm feet, one hand at a time to the hips and then hinge yourself as you come back up. Good, and then again, aim the toes to the corners of the mat. Whew, all right. So we've got our toes out. We're gonna do a little goddess flow. So let's get a little heat going. <clears throat> So again, we're going to bend the knees and I want you to think about your pelvis being neutral and I want your knees opening out so you, they shouldn't collapse inward. Keep the knees opening out. And again, you can take this as deep as you want. You don't have to come deep. You can stay here if that's better for you. So listen to your body today, whatever you need. So that's always the name of the game. And then open the knees out. Maybe you want to challenge yourself. That's all good. Just don't hurt yourself. Open out, so nice and tall and spine, soft shoulders. We're gonna take the arms up to cactus arms. Imagine holding up a wall. So our spine is tall as we drop in the hips. And then if this is difficult, you can always hinge forward a little bit, just don't overarch the spine. Keep the knees open, breathe, take a breath in. And then on an exhale, we're gonna bring the forearm to the knee and reach up and over. Stretching through the side. Inhale as you come through center. Exhale as you reach to the other side. Good, inhale. Maybe a couple more if you can. Exhale, reach. Always take a break if you need. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach. Inhale, center. One more time, each side. Exhale, reach. Good, inhale, center. Last time, exhale, reach. Good, inhale. Lower the arms and straighten the legs. Ha, ah, okay, just heel toe the feet back to the midline. Ah, yay, that's done. Okay. So shake it out a little bit. And then let's do a little balance pose. Okay. So let's do the tree. So we're gonna come from our mountain pose. So you wanna feel even weight on all four corners of both feet. So you can kind of shift around dinner time for kitties. And then lift the quads away from the knees, soften the shoulders, open the chest. And then for balance, you wanna fix your gaze on something that's not gonna move. So don't look at a shadow, but pick a notch on the carpet or the floor something you can gaze at. And then you're also welcome to use a wall or be near a wall if you need a little support, if you're not comfortable. So we're gonna shift the weight to our standing leg, whichever leg you wanna start with. So I'll let you decide. You're gonna take the other foot, sole of the foot, you can use the ankle with the toe down for balance if you want a little more support. Or you can use the calf or you can use the thigh. Don't use your knee, whatever you're doing. So then we're gonna press the thigh and the leg in toward the midline to create a little lift again at the center. Hands come to the chest when you're ready. And then whenever you want, straighten your arms, open your chest, soften the shoulders, breathe. 
Don't hold your breath. Keep breathing. And if you fall out, it's not a big deal. You just start again. So it is nice to think about the leg and the thigh coming toward each other to create that lift. Good, maybe one more breath. Good, and then slowly take your hands down to your chest and release the foot. Shake it out. Forget about it. And then we'll come back to that mountain pose to start. So nice and tall, nice and even. Take a nice breath in and out. When you feel ready, we'll shift the weight to the other leg. And also important here not to lock the knee joint. So remember to micro bend the knee. <clears throat> So you might not see a difference, but you'll feel a difference. So lock your leg, play with that, and then soften it. <clears throat> when you're ready, other foot to the ankle, the calf, or the thigh. Feel that coming together at the midline. <sighs> Hands to heart. Whenever you're ready, stretch your arms, breathe, soft shoulders, soft face, deep breaths. And if you fall out, no big deal, try again. Good, we'll slowly come down, hands to heart. Release the leg and shake it out. Nice. Okay. So let's come down into a squat. So we're going to take our feet wide. It's almost like we did in the goddess pose. Um, and if squatting doesn't work for you, then you can skip it. You can also use a blanket or something under your heels. I'm going to reach my arms out and soften my shoulders. I'm going to try to keep my torso tall and long. As I bend my knees, keep the knees open, and come all the way down into a squat. So I'm going to bring my hands to my chest in prayer pose. My elbows come inside of my legs, and then I pull the, the legs in as I press the elbows out. So I'm dropping my tailbone, and I'm lengthening my spine. Take a breath. If you're comfortable. Again, sometimes it's nice to have something under your heels here. And you can always skip it if it doesn't work. So slowly, one hand at a time is going to come under, we're going to come down. And then we're going to take the soles of the feet together. So coming all the way down onto your sitting bones. And then if you can, you're going to wrap your hands, interlace your hands around your feet. And then if that's too much for you, if you're real tight in the hips or it just is too much of a reach, you can use a towel or something around your feet if you need. And then <clears throat> wherever you are, we're going to lengthen through the spine. So I want you to feel that this holding around the feet, you're getting a little traction as you lift up out of the spine, come onto your sitting bones and feel that stretch in the shoulders and the neck. So you're getting a little release here. Breathe as you pull the legs down. Good, and then release the hands. And then you're gonna keep your right leg in and take your left leg out. So we're gonna lift the flesh away from our sitting bones. And I've got my right foot inside my left thigh. I'm going to flex my extended leg, and I'm going to aim my torso to my extended leg. I'm going to inhale, bring both arms up. Nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, I want you to hinge from the hip and lead with the chest. So try not to round right away. See if you can lengthen from your hips, from your chest, lead with the chest. And then just let the hands land wherever they do. Don't worry about reaching the foot. 
Keep the torso long, breathe in, grow tall. And then as you're ready, exhale, you can go ahead and round. So allow the forehead to round toward the knee. Keep your shoulders soft, so don't strive to reach the leg if that feels like if you're trying to reach your foot, just relax your shoulders. Nice deep breath in and out. Keep that foot flexed. And then slowly walk your hands back. Inhale, come on up. And then take your opposite hand from the leg that's out behind you, under the, uh, behind your, under your shoulder on the floor behind you. Take your same arm as your leg that's out and reach out. And then we're gonna exhale as we take a nice fluid motion with our breath. We're gonna plant the foot, come up onto the bottom knee and reach up and over. Big side stretch. So this should feel great. Nice stretch from fingers all the way to the foot. And then slowly trace the line as you come back down nice and slow. Good, and then we'll switch sides. So we're gonna take the other leg out, the opposite leg in. Again, lift the flesh. You wanna flex that extended foot. Aim the torso over that extended leg. Inhale, reach. Deep breath in. Keep the shoulder soft. Exhale, lead with the chest. Slowly come forward and then relax the hands wherever they land. Keep the chest long. I want you to think about length from the tailbone to the crown. Breathe in, grow tall. Exhale, soften. And then when you feel ready, you can round the forehead toward the leg. Keep that foot nice and flexed. Keep your shoulders and your face nice and soft. Doesn't matter how far you go, just breathe. Slowly walk your hands back. Again, opposite hand will come behind you on the floor. Take that same arm as the extended leg and reach open. Open the chest, breathe in. As you exhale, you're gonna plant that bottom foot, come onto your bottom knee and reach up and over. Take a breath, nice long stretch. Slowly trace the line as you come back down to the floor. Nice. And we're gonna extend the legs out, lift the flesh from the sitting bones, and I'm gonna unfurl to the ground. So you can keep your heels grounded. If you want a challenge, you're gonna to try to keep your legs and your heels grounded. Use your core, hands on the thighs to come down slowly, one vertebra at a time. So if this hurts your back, don't do it. But if you can, nice way to challenge the core, keep the feet down, chin tucked. The slower you go, the harder it is. Come all the way to the back. Once you get to your back, we're gonna bend our knees and place our feet on the floor. Maybe shimmy the hips a little bit. And then we're gonna stretch our hips. So we're gonna cross one leg over the other. So make sure that your <clears throat> ankle is off to the side of the thigh of the knee. And then whichever leg you cross, same hand comes through the hole, connect behind the thigh of the other leg here. You can use a towel if you need, relax that leg and then flex your cross leg. So that flex your foot of your cross leg so that you don't torque your knee. And then you're gonna pull that unit toward your chest to stretch that hip. So make sure the neck is neutral on the floor. If your neck is lifted, your chin is lifted, you wanna place a blanket or a cushion under your head so you're not straining your neck here. Again, that. Bottom legs relaxed, top foot's flexed. 
pull that toward you and then maybe the elbow into the thigh if you need a deeper stretch. And then you can kind of shimmy on the back a little bit to get into the angle of the hip stretch that you need. So close your eyes, deep breaths into your hip. Just a tiny movement, tiny shift on the back so you can feel how that changes the stretch in the hip. Good, and then slowly un release the legs, uncross. Take your arms out to a T for a moment and just windshield wiper your legs side to side once. We'll come back up and we'll cross the other leg on top. Again, the ankle hangs off. Same hand goes through the hole, connect behind the thigh, relax that bottom leg, top foot is flexed. Pull that toward your chest. Make sure the neck and shoulders are relaxed. Squeeze in. Again, elbow into that thigh is an option if you need a little deeper stretch and then maybe wiggle around a little bit on the back. Nice deep breaths. As you release that hip. One more breath. Letting go, unwind the legs, arms to a T, windshield wiper the legs. Good, and then if there's anything else you wanna practice, one last posture before we relax, um, now's a good time for that. Like, could do knees to chest or maybe a happy baby. So you guys get to pick what you'd like to do. Any final posture that you think you need or that might feel good, maybe a reclining twist. Totally up to you. Maybe a couple of things. <laughs> and then once you feel Satisfied, we're gonna lower the feet to the floor. So if you have any tension in the lower back at all, you can keep the knees bent, the feet about a mat width apart, and then let the knees fall toward the midline. And if your back feels pretty good, you can keep the legs long, stretch them out, feet at least a mat width apart, let the toes flop out, tuck your shoulders under your chest to open the heart, and allow the palms to face the sky. Allow the fingers to relax and curl toward the palm. And then just gently rock your head a little side to side. Again, make sure your neck is neutral, using a prop if you need. And you can even take a rolled up blanket under your knees here if you want a little more support. That's a nice way to relax. And then close your eyes. Part your lips so your jaw is relaxed. Bringing awareness back to your breath as it moves in and out of the nose. No forcing the breath, just let it be nice and easy. As you relax your entire body. So we're gonna scan the body for any residual tension starting from the soles of the feet, moving up the ankles and the calves. And if you find any tension along the way, I want you to use your inhale to surround that tension with your breath, with fresh oxygen and blood. And then use your exhale just to let it go. So you can visualize it leaving with the breath just melting into the mat or the earth, letting go of tension. So as you continue to scan the body, moving up to the knees and the thighs, 
bringing awareness into the hips and the pelvis. And feeling your whole lower body completely relax. Melting tension away from the body as you exhale and let go. And then bringing that awareness into the pelvis, the abdomen and the chest, the entire back of your body, the low back, mid back and upper back. If you find any tension, surround it with your breath and just let it go as you breathe out. Feeling your whole torso completely relax. Bringing awareness into the palms, arms, and the shoulders. Scanning for any signs of tension. Surrounding that tension with your inhale. And just letting go with your exhale. Completely relax the arms. Checking in with the neck and the throat. And that's a hot spot for a lot of us. So see if you find any residual tension in the neck and the throat. And just let go with your out breath. Relax. Checking in with all the muscles of the face, the jaw, the tongue, and the cheeks, the eyelids, the eyebrows, the temples, even the nostrils and the ears. Completely relax. your forehead, your scalp, and your skull, just letting go of any tension, just melting into the mat as you completely relax. 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 Just gently and slowly wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe rock your head a little side to side. And as you're ready, you're going to bend your knees to place your feet on the floor and roll onto the right side of your body to a fetal posture for just a moment to notice any changes in body and mind. Maybe recall if you set an intention or dedication for your practice today. And slowly use your left hand to push yourself back up to a comfortable seat. We'll come into easy pose again as we started. So lengthen through the spine, use a prop if you need. Sitting up nice and tall, floating on the spine. And then let's inhale as we sweep the arms up. We'll take a deep breath in, nice deep breath in. Gather some good energy, seal it into your hands as you bring your hands to your heart. Bow to yourself with gratitude for practicing today. And I thank you all for joining me. 
Love out to you. Namaste.